Hello there collectors, it's Steven here once again with another video for you on effect parts and this one is specifically for the SH Monster Arts Space Godzilla and this video is going to be really quick and it's not going to be as in-depth as I would like it to be because one time pre-orders are beginning to close for the SH Monster Arts Space Godzilla and Little Godzilla Special Color Version set and there are people who are still deciding who own the original Space Godzilla. Do I want to get the new set for the special shoulder crystal energy effects? And there are some people who are just kind of on the fence in general about that. So I want to make this video because I just want to help you guys make the decision on whether or not you want to drop $170 or more on Bandai's official effect parts or whether or not you want to spend significantly cheaper on your own to make effect parts, which really can look just as good depending on how much effort uh, you want to put into it. So let's get into this video really, really quick. Again, for those of you who are not aware, my right arm, right shoulder, is still recovering from surgery that I had a little more than a week ago. So I'm not gonna be able to go as super in depth as I said, as I would like to, but I'm gonna give you guys the basics and you guys are gonna be able to take this and run from there. So let's get into the video and let's talk about exactly what we're gonna be doing here. So this is pretty much it. If you wanna get effect parts to kinda of look like this for your Space Godzilla, you're going to need tin foil, you're going to need a hot glue gun with hot glue, you're going to need at least acrylic paint, I would say two colors because you can get a nice little gradient there, and um, creativity. That's it. So what do you do? Well, you're going to need non-stick tin foil, okay? I here have Reynolds Wrap. I got it from my local grocery store. They had it for sale, super cheap. Um, you wanna get non-stick because if you don't get non-stick, it's gonna be fun pulling out all the different pieces of tin foil that are gonna, gonna come off with the hot glue. Um, so you wanna get non-stick. Uh, and because non-stick is very easy to see which side is the non-stick, shiny is the stick, not shiny is non-stick, so that's good. Um, yeah, and so that's pretty much it. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your tin foil. You're gonna wanna wrap it around Space Godzilla shoulder crystal. Be careful because the shoulder crystals are known to have paint that rubs off and that tin foil just might do it. There also might be a case where you'll have some little gray marks on your Space Godzilla shoulder crystal. You just gotta rub and that'll come off just fine because sometimes the tin foil does that. Then what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna take another piece of tin foil and you're gonna make it so that way it looks like there are strands or whatnot coming off of Space Godzilla here. So here you just have this little extra attachment piece and what you're gonna be doing once you have this little cone attached to your shoulder crystal tin foil, okay, once you have that, you're gonna take your hot glue and you're gonna put it all over, ooh yeah, this tin foil here, right? And what you're gonna be creating is you're gonna be creating this triangle base here. You see that? Then you're gonna take your hot glue and you're gonna put it on the outside here. This will create your strands that you have here. Then what you do is you take the two different pieces, once the hot glue is all nice and settled, pull the hot glue off, take your hot glue gun and make any corrections that you need to make, you know, fix any holes, any patches that you don't like. Hot glue the two pieces together. That's it. You can just even heat up the tip of the glue gun and just <laughs> uh, attach it together like that. Then once you have that, take acrylic paint or whatever paint you want. This is what I used. Cheap Michaels or Walmart acrylic paint. Water it down and just brush it on. That's all you gotta do, just brush it on. And then once you're done, you just plop it right onto your uh, Space Godzilla right there like that, and uh, congrats. Now Space Godzilla has some uh, energy beams coming off of his shoulder crystals. So hopefully this helps uh, some people save some money from spending uh, insane amounts on the special color version set when they don't need to buy it, right? And I will make a more in-depth video in the future because I'm going to be focusing in on how to make action figure effect parts. And I think this might be one of the ones that I actually showcase. So a more in-depth video will be coming in the future, but this is just sort of a quick, hey, orders are closing. We're not getting it in North America through official channels. So here you go for those of you who need it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Big thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, comment, follow, follow back, tweet, whatever. Uh, and I will catch you all in the next video.